old fisherman's ale matured for four years in Bordeaux wine oak barrels. It's beer a clock from Destruce Browers. We have a bottle of their Panapot Special Reserver 2014 edition coming in at 10% ABV. Now, Destruce Brewers are famous for their oak aged beers and special beers, and this one doesn't disappoint. This is an old fisherman's ale, and it's basically uh, matured. In uh, for four years in Bordeaux wine barrels uh, that they, they get from France. So they're oak barrels. This is matured for four years in. So I'm looking forward to it, but I also want to, to thank um, subscriber Joe Buys from Belgium, who has gladly sent me this beer to review. So thank you very much, Joe. Without further ado, let's crack this open like so let's get it in a glass now they actually consider this to be a quad So that's what we're going to be looking for. First impressions. It's black as the ace of spades, actually. I'm holding it up trying to look through the glass to see if there's any sort of the ruby colours, because sometimes it looks black here and you can see ruby through it, but there isn't. This is black as the ace of spades. Um, it's got a one finger, off-white head, you know, to a lot of people looking at it, it looks like a stout, doesn't it? But apparently it's a quad. So without further ado, let's get the aromas. Oh. <laughs> it just smells just sublime. Oh, God. Dried fruits, dates, prunes. Oh. Um, Boozy fruit cake, salted caramel. You're picking up a bit of that red wine, that, that oaky smokiness of the barrels. Oh, it. I wish you could smell this beer. It just smells awesome. I know this beer is going to be good before even taking a sip, just on the aroma. You're getting, believe it or not, you're sort of getting a cola. Old fashioned cola. You know, there's a, a company out there that makes like the old fashioned cola in the bottles. Um, I've had them in Germany, I've had them in the UK. You should find them at um, museums. I know one place is Duxford. Duxford, they, they, the old fashioned cola company or something, they've got these bottles and it smells like that. Um, Bletchley Park's another place we can get this, this old fashioned cola. And uh, it's got that sort of old fashioned cola to it. The salted caramel is really, really in your face though. So. I could I could just sniff this all day. It just smells wonderful. Right, let's give it a try. Right, cheers, Joe, for sending me this. This brings a smile to my face.
it is rich it is complex there is a, a cola like theme to this beer It's quite fizzy. Believe it or not, when you look at this and you see there's hardly any head, there is a lot of fizz to this beer. And it adds to this sort of cola experience, really, because if you, you sort of think of cola, there'll be very little head on a, on a cola, but it'll be fizzy. Very, very similar. Um, Dried fruits, dried cherries, cola, cherry cola. Beautiful lacing on the side of the glass. Um, this is a knockout of a beer. Thank you, just Joe, so much for sending me this. This is, this is just, this is brewed with love. This is a great brewed beer. I like this oakiness. It's got a, a sour sort of, but it's got a sour, really expensive balsamic vinegar back end. And what I mean by a really expensive one, I don't know um, if you've ever been to Borough Market or ever go to a shop or, or shop that specializes in balsamic vinegars and olive oils, right? If you try the, 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 the real expensive olive oils, uh, uh, sorry, olive oils and, and balsamic vinegars, um, it's the same sort of feeling at the back end of this beer. Um, It's like you've got that bit of bread and you've dunked it in the olive oil and then and dunked it in the uh, balsamic vinegar. So you've got this, this rich, expensive balsamic vinegar right at the back end with the oiliness of the really expensive olive oil to match and it's just absolutely fantastic you know this you know if people are watching this going balsamic vinegar you know i get it from sainsbury's for two pound a bottle or whatever this ain't none of your two pound a bottle balsamic vinegar this is this is the little you know the the bottles of balsamic vinegar that are probably 20 pounds upwards the same with the olive oils this is this isn't this, this isn't your three quid olive oil. It's it's your sort of ten pound plus olive oils. Um, it's interesting. It's such a complex beer. I really like the complexity of this the flavours this is another beer I wish I, I I wish I'd got a cigar and lit up and and had with but I don't smoke anymore this would go ideal with a great um, 
a great Cuban cigar to just sip away, at, um, just sip away and mull away time, enjoy, enjoy life. Um, it's not for for six. I know Joe recently said he was going to send me some great beers, right? My word, Joe, you've sent me some awesome beers, mate. Um, would I have discovered these beers? I don't know. This is the thing. Um, I might have done in the course of time, but I don't think I would have discovered them as quickly as now. Um, it's just, It's just awesome. It's sublime. This is a beer that makes you happy. Dates, fruitcake, salted caramel. Fine olive oil and fine balsamic vinegar at the back end. The oaky smokiness. You can just tell that this this beer has been brewed with a lot of love. It's been aged for four years. Four years in oak barrels from Bordeaux. And they're definitely red wine barrels. And if, I would like to know what... Uh, what Bordeaux red was in the barrels beforehand because it was definitely a, a really really rich Bordeaux red because of the complexity of how this beer's turned out I'll tell you what would be nice if you actually had a bottle of the Bordeaux red um, that um, this beer was aged in the barrels of, right? And you could have the red wine in a glass here and the beer and compare and to see how many notes of the, 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 the particular Bordeaux red has rubbed off into this beer. This is a beer to try before you die. This is a beer to fight, fight for. Um, to jump through flaming hoops for. Now you can get this um, on Belgium in a box, because I've done my research here, right? Belgium in a box, it's four euros 40 a bottle. Um, bottles in the UK, if you, if you, can find one in the UK, you're probably looking about nine quid a bottle. So it's up to you. Um, if you can grab hold of a bottle of this, do it. You will not be disappointed. This is, this is a great beer. The complexity of the flavors of this beer is just yeah, really, really good. It's aged well, it's smooth. It just ticks every box. This is up there with some of the best beers in the world. I'm gonna say that. I ain't gonna mess around. Awesome beer. Thank you so, so much, Joe Buys, for sending me this beer to review. Um, it's it's blown me away mate it really has blown me away of how good this beer is um, look jump through hoops get yourself a bottle of this you will not be disappointed 
leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.